This is the Disney one month overview reading for the month of May 2023. It's currently April 16th, 2023, 12 29 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Disney at the time of this reading in extended hours $100.09. That's USD. And the shuffle pile that for the May reading was created on March 23rd, 2023 at 12 28 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this file right here. The overall theme and behavior for Disney in May, there's a decline to reach a support level that was recently a past opportunity. The placement of, uh, recently with the placement of this being the theme card, I'd say probably like either it happens more than once in the month or it happens, it's happened, we've seen the, the, the support level in the past month, but it looks like it repeats itself here uh, in this month of may um it's crossed with a crest that we sell off from down to and through support we do a u-shape reversal below support come back and reuse it as uh, that price level as support um and it looks pretty much like that's that's what takes place here we go from a high early in the month down to a low mid-month and then it looks like we come back and we're like rotating we see uh, uh probably the same crest here on the 24th and the thir 31st um, price levels possibly higher price level on the 31st but the highest high for the majority of the month is going to be here if not the whole month here on on the fourth um, we don't really have any um, prior Disney readings to go off of but uh, from what we saw with the I mean when we're let, to review the uh, to review the accuracy of like prior Disney readings we don't have anything to go off of but we do have uh, the 10 year, the 10 year is looking pretty solid. Uh, check out the 10 year reading if you haven't seen it um, on our, our channel, YouTube channel. Uh, and then also look out for the one year, which is coming out pretty soon. The one year for 2023 should be out pretty soon as well, guys. Um, so with that said, what we see on the first, there's a trade opportunity and there's a, a notable decline standing out on a one month chart, bringing us to a support level. And then we rotate sideways along that support and it's, the rotation ends with a fast sudden move higher. Um, a decline um, on the cusp of the first second or early in the day on the second, a decline that leads us to... It looks like a trough towards the end of the day, but out of that trough, there's a rally along a diagonal trend line breaking through horizontal resistance to meet a second resistance before pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. So a decline early on the second into a rally along a diagonal trend line, which takes us to a peak or crest on the third, that near overbought crest or peak that we sell off from um, through multiple support levels. And then and that's on the scale of a one month. And then um, on the fourth, we establish support um, after like that drop from a peak or crest on the third. We establish support early in the day on the fourth, and there's um, a significant move after establishing support. There's a significant move to the upside, standing out on a one month chart, uh, taking us to a highest high, uh, most likely here on the on the uh, fourth. Uh, we likely gap down overnight, and then there's a rally um, on the 5th, offering opportunity to open up a short position. And we'll talk about that in more detail uh, in the paid version. Guys, if you're interested in the paid version, we get into all the detail um, as far as what we see as the best trades for the month. Um, you get the paid version here. It's a really great way to support the channel. Go to our services, SO Meta Forecasts. Um, click on monthly predictions and then navigate to may uh and then pick the ticker that you're interested in, in this case we're looking at disney it's a great place to support uh way to support the channel we definitely know who you are my friends thank you so much for your support it really allows the channel to continue doing what it's doing um all right so with that said guys uh significant move on the eighth it looks like to the downside after a bit of an, um, a rally higher early in the day there's a significant move to the downside which takes us into a lowest low on the ninth or a lowest low thus far on the ninth where we have a period of sideways rotation there may be something to do with a merger here like news of a merger it's either that or a decision between two leaders is highlighted um, and, and we declined pretty notably there 
There's a resistance level um, near the low that's pretty strong resistance. Near the, the lowest low in the day's low, there's a pretty strong resistance there. Um, there's like a rally out of the lowest low on the 9th into the 10th where we then see another sharp drop taking us into a... And this this sharp drop will really stand out on a on a one month, taking us into a lowest low again there on the or it's either the same lowest low or it's a lower low on the eleventh, um, out of which there's a period of there's a sideways fluctuating rally um, that precedes a decline. That sideways fluctuating rally on the out of the lowest low on the eleventh takes us into a uh, important resistance on the twelfth, important on the scale of a one month from which we decline through with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down into a support level on a one month scale that's important there on the 15th. We break down through multiple support levels on the 16th, again on the scale of a one month. Gap up on the 17th with a sharp drop. Um, Gap up on the 17th with a sharp drop early in the day and then a rally probably that takes us to a crest or peak or prominent crest or peak for the month there on the cusp of the uh, 17th, 18th, from which we decline pretty notably on the, on the 18th, a significant amount of decline on the 18th, taking us to a lowest low. It's either the same lowest low as the 11th or it's the lowest low that we'll see for the month there on the 18th towards the end of the day. Out of a decline on the 19th, there's a, or out of the decline that takes us to the lowest low there on the cusp of the 18th, 19th, there's a significant move higher on a one month scale standing out, taking us from the bottom of a range to the top of a range on a multi-day scale. Um, likely a gap down on the 22nd with a rally early in the day to reach a resistance level on a one month scale that's important we bump along that resistance possibly breaking through resistance but bumping along resistance for the most most part there on the 22nd um into the 23rd with pre bullish price swings a speech on the cusp of the 23rd or the 24th can be trusted and then there's a peak there's a peak um, on the 24th that'll stand out on a one month, a prominent peak or crest there that we move higher through resistance, we stay above it briefly, that's resistance on a one month scale, and then we break down through that same price level shortly thereafter. Um, it's like a, it's a, it's a local peak or crest there, so it's important. Um, and then, also, significant trade opportunities here on the 18th, 19th. We'll talk. We'll talk about in detail on the paid version. Um, some good trade opportunities on the 10th, 11th, and 12th as well. We'll talk about in the paid version. Um, on the 25th, there's sideways rotation uh, or holding pattern of some kind with a pop and drop. Um, a, a period of volatility and a sharp move to the upside on the 26th uh, opportunity there uh, two trade opportunities there on the 26th we'll talk about in the paid version on the 30th we have uh, we have uh, three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level an important price level on a one month scale and it confirms a bullish trend taking us into probably the same price level uh peak or crest that we saw on the 24th um but it's another prominent peak or crest nonetheless um, where we move higher through resistance on a one month scale we stay above it briefly and then we break back down through it with the same uh that same price level with a full retracement there on the 31st a peak uh poke higher through it and then break back down through there creating like a capital a in the english language kind of chart pattern if the price level that we break through momentarily was the horizontal line and not capital a and that may take us to like the new the the highest price level since the lowest low that we see there in the one month um the sneak preview for june it looks like we have a, probably a higher price level in june early on and then there's a breakdown um from that price level when we look at the one year which we're going to get into a lot more detail um when we do the one year um relatively soon you'll see it coming out on the on the one year um, there's a prominent peak or crest there in june or you'll see it coming out on the channel relatively soon. There's a prominent peak or crest in June. So it looks like we're probably going to be setting ourselves up um, on the one month for uh, a long position, which, again, I'll talk a lot more detail on the paid version. 
Um, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You do so here on the uh, resources tab of our channel. It's super important for the channel, super important for your your yourself and super super important for the multiverse send five percent of the profits back to the channel here at cash app paypal five percent of the profits forward to one of these charities and make sure that you spend that 90 percent out of love as long as you spend that money out of love the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold from all directions my friends i'll see you on the next one stay f tuned if you got the paid version